Anybody else bothered by the fact that La Casa de Papel does not translate into Money Heist? Or is it just me? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The F Word. I'm G, and I'm here to do a review. Cards on the table. This is my seventh attempt at trying to do this review because it's been a long-ass freaking time. A couple of disclaimers. One, seasons one and two, I said they, they were as good as Breaking Bad. They're not. They're very good, just not close because I rewatched Breaking Bad, and I'm just, like, still blown away by it. However, seasons one and two are very good. Disclaimer number two. I did not hate seasons three and four, and I'm saying that because it's going to sound like I really hated seasons three and four, partly because I kept thinking, what is the point? And I'm saying what is the point because that's kind of the driving force behind my criticisms. It's not that it was a bad couple of seasons, it just was the same couple of seasons. It was like the events from the first one, and there might be some minor spoilers in here, but it kind of felt like whatever happened in season one and two were kind of taken away so that they can have a seasons three and four when they could have maybe gone with a different route. And then they introduced a lot of stuff like BS relationship issues within the crew, specifically in season four, that I didn't really care for. And it was almost like season one and two's heist although not referenced at all in the first one, was really just nothing compared to this big one that was actually staged from before. And then they brought in some characters to try to make up for other characters. A very major character dies in season two. And they brought in another character, who we didn't know about till now, to make up for that character. Another one is one of our characters, who was the cop, is now on the other side, so they needed another cop to take over. Both replacements were essentially the mustache twirling versions of the characters that we really liked in season one and two. Alicia, the cop, is laughable. Did not care for her at all. I actually didn't like her at all, even when they tried to show some uh, human aspects of her towards the end of season four. It didn't work for me. Palermo was so over the top and so obnoxious. Like, he wasn't endearing at all. At least the other character was crazy but endearing and it wasn't until season four that they actually wanted to show some stuff that would make him more human which could have serviced the character better early on in season three and the formula is just the same and not only is it just the same but the acting ended up being way too over the top way too many scenes of like showdown moments and long monologues that are leading to various things that end up getting retracted back and it just ended up being a little bit too much and all the while i'm thinking you could have done something better and they opened up season three with a really interesting angle although it pissed me off what tokyo did they kind of introduced this cool v for vendetta aspect where the whole world or at least spain itself was really behind their act with the dolly masks and the red jumpsuits and everything And I thought there was a better angle there because the whole purpose of the first one from what the professor was saying was that it's just money and it's ruining our lives and it's just paper. That's why the whole thing's called House of Paper, not Money Heist. And it seems like that was an angle that they should have taken to really show, you know, corruption with the banks and how people are being pushed further down and make it more of an allegory, which I know allegories all over the place right now, but That was a better, that felt to me like a more interesting angle because I was excited going into season three only for the fact that it opened up in a really cool way. But again, they just rehashed a bunch of the stuff. And not only that, those flashback scenes that they had in season one and two where you think that shit's about to go down and then they ended up discussing a plan to get out of it earlier. So they do that little cool flashback thing. In this one, it seemed a little bit too impossible. The first one felt probable. In this one, it's like, there is no way you would have been able to do that, especially keep it under wraps. And and then not only that, in season four specifically, because that's where it really fell apart for me. Season three, fine, whatever. But season four, there was a lot of stuff they were trying to make up for. They really were missing one of their characters, which is why in season four they had a lot more of this specific character. Now, I'm avoiding spoilers, but they had way more than they did in season three. It's almost like they realized, oh, we actually needed this person way more than we thought, and the other replacement is not doing it for people, so we need to bring him more in. 
some positives, so it doesn't sound like I'm shitting on it, that a lot of the stuff that they kind of showed in the flashbacks was quite interesting. Some of it was unnecessary, but some of it was interesting. There were some cool parts to it. It still had the style. It still had the cinematography. Another big, big thing that I liked it was that they showed more of Nairobi and more of Helsinki because those ended up being my two favorite characters. So ultimately, as I'm watching this show, I'm just thinking this could have all been avoided and didn't need to happen because the first two seasons ended with a nice little bow. And really, the events of three and four kind of made it feel like one and two were just brush it off because we're starting brand new in a way, which for me doesn't really work. There is another positive thing. Arturo is still a piece of shit, like a real big piece of shit. So if you were a huge, huge fan of seasons one and two, then three and four are kind of going to feel like some extras that weren't necessary. If you weren't a big fan, but you did enjoy it, then you're probably going to enjoy three and four just as much because you just enjoyed it for what it was. Some pretty solid acting still, even though it's over the top. Great cinematography, great set pieces, a lot of really cool, you know, camera shots and movements. And, and some of the action scenes were pretty good, even though they used slow-mo a little too much. But for me, who was a huge, huge fan of seasons one and two, these two kind of tainted and I hear there's a fifth one and I don't really want it so that's it for me you can find me on Twitter at the F words G you can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com make sure you're following the F word podcast on Instagram and on Facebook please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and just like before even though we are not in our regular set I'm G and I'm out